Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How you doing guys? I hope you're doing good. Today is a great day. Today is an awesome day. Today is a beautiful day. I hope you're awesome. I hope you're beautiful. And I hope you are the best version of yourself today and every day. So let's start. Moshu number five. Okay, welcome back. Today, we're gonna speak about motivation as the first part of the show. Um, as you know, you hear, you know, you go on YouTube, you uh, go on Audible, uh, you go online, there's a lot of motivation out there, a lot, like a lot. Like if you need to be motivated, it's there for the given, like free and paid. Uh, my best motivator uh, of all time is Les Brown and then comes after Les Brown Jr. and then comes after is Eric Thomas. But what I'm, what I'm, what I talk about, about the motivation is this. I can hear motivation all day long. I can hear motivation every day of the week. I can hear it in the morning, I can hear it in the evening, I can hear it in the afternoon. But what is the point of hearing motivation and not doing anything about it? Okay, here's, I'm gonna explain that to you. Uh, some people, I'm going to give you a small example. Uh, some people, they hear motivation every day. They tell me we hear more, more, we hear motivation every day, and it boosts us up, and all that, that, that. Okay, cool. And then the second day, they tell me the same thing. The third day, they tell me the same thing. The following week, they tell me the same thing. But what is the point? I tell them, I came back to them, and I asked, was your goals reached? Um... Were your goals reached? Uh, for example, the goals that you had for this month or the next month or the past month or whatever month you're working on, uh, what, were they reached? And they tell me, no, uh, we're working on it. We're working on it. Okay. What is the point, my question to them or my question to the audience is, what is the point of hearing motivation every freaking day and not do anything about it? or not be able to, to, to behave, to, to, to evolve, to uh, improve yourself upon that, upon hearing these motivations. Uh, we can hear motivation every day. We can hear motivation all day long, all night long. But what is the point of hearing motivation and still not be able to improve? What is the point? There is no point, exactly. What I'm saying is motivation alone will not work. Motivation alone will never work. It, it has to be coming from you, from the inside. You have to change. You have to do something about the issue or the situation that you're in. If you tell me I'm in a situation, uh, Mo, I'm in a situation, and uh, this is what's happening, and uh, and what uh, this is exactly what's happening. But what I'm saying is, uh, everybody has a problem. Everybody has an issue, uh, issues, uh, uh, life. Life itself gives you beautiful. It's a, we call it beautiful life. Why? Because it gives you a challenge every day. You have to wake up every day and get that challenge and 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 prove yourself to yourself. You have to prove yourself to yourself first, and then you prove yourself to the others. Uh, but what I'm saying is, again, come back to the same point again. What is the point of motivation without you doing anything about it? If I want to do something about it, I will do something about it. The motivation is a secondary option. It will motivate me. It will direct me. It will focus. It will make me focus into the point I am trying to reach or the goal I'm trying to reach. But if you count on motivation alone, it will not happen. That's the, that, that's the point I'm, I'm trying to, to deliver here. Motivation alone will not make it, uh, will not make it, make your life better you have to make it better you have to behave you have to, like a lot of people tell me i want to quit smoking i want to quit smoking but what's the point of quitting sm uh, of saying it why don't you try to quit why don't you try to do something about it uh, the gum will not work the the the, the 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 vape will not work all these things that that people do to quit smoking but they don't want to do that the quitting itself 
they just want to alternate they want to go into another option to make themselves happy or make themselves not to go into the hard road of quitting that's the idea that's what i'm trying to deliver here the uh, uh, motivation alone will not work you have to do it you have to do it again focus 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 and do it because you can and you will let's do it uh let's come back after these messages Welcome back to the Mo Show number five. Uh, here's something that uh, I, I wrote here just to remember. Uh, don't try to mimic as a marketer. As a marketer out there, uh, we're trying. Everybody has to uh, try to do um, uh, what we call a character. Uh, create a character for himself uh, to create something. We're trying to uh, like when you market out there when you produce. Uh, uh, a segment uh, when you write an article when you uh, produce a product when you uh, manufacture a product by yourself uh, all that you're trying to put your character in it uh, you're trying to uh, uh, show the character of the marketer in you uh, of the salesman in you that's why a lot of people out there a lot of marketers out there they are trying to mimic everybody else uh, trying to mimic um, the gurus out there. I'm not gonna say names. I have my favorite and I have my not favorite. So everybody out there, from what I see, the new marketer, the new generation of marketers out there, they are trying to mimic other people. They are trying to mimic other marketers. I'm like, why are you mimicking? You, the problem with mimicking is you're trying to be the same as everybody else. And when you're the same as everybody else, you're no one. Again. If you're trying to be the same as everybody else, you are no one because all of you behave the same. All of you act the same. All of you the same, say the same thing, same thing again and again and again, day in, day out. That's the problem with the marketers now. Nobody has, nobody comes out and is like, oh, I'm gonna create my own character. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna, you know, do that. I'm gonna behave the way I am because I am unique. No. They act like everybody else they mimic everybody else they copy everybody else all the gurus out there unfortunately I look at markers now and I'm like oh my god again the same thing again and again and again that's why we are different I am different uh, that's why sticky marketing Academy is different that's why we create stuff that uh, uh, others do not have uh, is I wrote it down so I don't forget it if you can if you can be true to yourself you will always have an edge if you can be true to yourself you will always have an edge over the other markers like I said unfortunately everybody copies everybody and everybody looks the same to me they look the same to, to me they sound the same uh, unfortunately nobody has that unique uniqueness that we're, we're we are all looking for i am looking for uniqueness i'm looking for a marketer that out there is going to catch my attention there is a lot of out there like the, there is my favorite out them like i said before uh, 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 but like i said uh, the others that try to copy them they are copying them uh, in a bad way um that's why we are unique uh, as sma sticky marketing academy uh, i am unique as muhammad fawaz the the marketer not the marketer like everybody else no, that's why we are saying you have to create your uniqueness, your, your character, your, you have to have that edge. And because you are true, like you said, you are true to yourself, you, because of that, you have an edge over the others. We'll be back after these messages. Welcome back. Okay, today I'm gonna explain how the sales process go online. Um, when a client calls me and tells me, Mo, we need leads. 
um, sure, we need leads. Like I said, like I, I said in the previous uh, issues, uh, the previous episodes, you have to ask a lot of questions. You have to understand where the client coming from, uh, what the client exactly needs, because sometimes the client doesn't know what exactly he needs. You have to show him. You have to ask him a lot of questions to make him understand that what he needs and uh, what he needs for his company, what he needs for uh, small and medium companies that he has. Uh, so again, I'm going to explain to you the sales process that goes online that we are doing, uh, we are creating for our clients. Let me get my notebook. I'm, I'm going to show you this on the notebook, on the old school notebook, like I say. Um, and after that, I'll show you online. Uh, in the next episode, I'll, I'll show you exactly how we do it online and all that. So, let me let me draw it for you. Okay, so here is the landing page. This is the landing page, okay? So this is the landing page that the customers, the leads that you're getting your clients or you're, you're, you're trying through the advertisement, you're trying to get the clients into that. That's the, the first process. You're trying to get the clients into a funnel, into a, a, a way, a road, a road map to the landing page. And that's the landing page right here, okay? So the landing page could be, like I explained before, uh, in, a lot, in a few in the last episodes, uh, it could be content, it could be a video, it could be um, an image, it could be a sales copy. But I don't recommend a sales copy. I always recommend a content, um, a content page, uh, whether it's an article, whether it's a it's a video uh, explain ex explainer video, or you're trying to explain something, you're trying to show uh, that the leads something. That's what we are creating for our clients. So after the landing page, what happened after the landing page? So basically, the client, the, 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 the customers we're getting into the landing page, they come to the landing page and let's say out of the 100, we uh, got um, uh, 30% signups. Signups, that means the landing page. So like I said, that email, they leave here the capture, we call it the capture, a capture page and then a capture email you want their email address they want their phone number you want their name we create all that but this is the landing page as general I'm explaining so again so after the client after the, 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 the lead enter their email address we direct them to the sales page the sales page okay so the sales page that's where the copy the copy uh, of the sales. That's where you're trying to convince the customer to introduce the product, to tell them the benefits and the features of the product um, so the client can know what is the product is all about. He knows from the landing page it's a, it's a product that does one, two, three. Now, you have to explain it here. What is the benefit of one? What is the benefit of two? What is the benefit of three? This is what's happening in the sales page, okay? And after the sales page, so if if the client let's say he purchases he click that buy button he click that buy button okay when he clicks that and he goes through the sales process and he goes through either paypal or pay by credit card it goes into another page which is a thank you page a thank you page that's where you thank him for uh, 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 the payment you thank him for becoming a client you thank him for trusting you to be on that page and to purchase that product from you okay that's what we have to do to thank the, the customer for being with us like you go and buy something from uh, some electronic store uh, let's say uh, uh, we have best buy here we go and uh, buy a TV from there so when you go and the the, 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 the salesman or the marketer uh, is, is, is trying to convince you that LG is better than Samsung or Samsung is better than LG or Sony is better than Panasonic or Panasonic is better than Sam, uh, Sony, that's where you say, you know what? I want this TV instead of that. I want this TV instead of that. That's what the sales page does, okay? So, and then when you purchase that product, you, you, you push that button to purchase that product, that's when you buy the TV. That's exactly how it goes. And then when you purchase that TV through the, the cashier and you pay by your credit card or you pay by your Interact, uh, interact card, uh, debit card, 
the thank you comes in. Either the cashier tells you thank you or the salesman tells you thank you. And from there, you can, the, the, the benefit, the benefit of buying online is on that thank you page, you can offer others. We call them upsells. We call them upsells. Okay. So when we, when you offer here upsells, um, exactly like, like I said, the example that I'm giving you, like Best Buy, when you go buy a TV, he, the, the salesman is trying to convince you that this sound system is great. This, uh, uh, this sound system is great. This uh, DVD player is great. This uh, uh, Blu-ray player is great. It will benefit you when you buy that TV. It will come as a package. And when you buy all of them, it becomes, a, 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 let's say, a less price. Uh, give you maybe 10, 20% off or 30% off. That's exactly what you're doing here. You're upselling, so you're selling more products of yours, and you're, you're 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 offering the customer another service that he needs, or he he's gonna benefit from buying that first service plus that service. He's gonna benefit from that service. So basically, that's it. Like this is uh, like in a summary. That's exactly what we do. So now, let me explain something. Now, if the customer comes to that sales page here okay and he said no I'm not interested and he didn't push that button he pushed the X on top or he wanted to leave the page or whatever now there is two options you can do either either you offer him a lesser price of he didn't, maybe he didn't like the price uh, okay, so you offer him a rebate of that price. Tell him because you're a, a, a new customer, I'm gonna give you a rebate. That's exactly what the salesman in Best Buy does. He tells you, okay, okay, you know what? You're leaving now. Hold on. Let me let me work it out. Let me talk to my manager. And he comes back with another offer. He tells you, listen, I can give you 20% off of that price. So you're a happy man. Give you 20% off. It's amazing. So from that 20%, you you can either either give him the 20% off a rebate of that full price or you can also give him a, a lower product okay so this i give you an example again the best buy uh, uh, uh salesman he's telling you okay you want it that sony okay but the sony is expensive and you cannot afford to buy it right now and he tells you okay so instead of taking that i can give you a 20% off or on the Sony if you cannot okay that's the, the first offer and the second offer if you if he doesn't offer you the first one he goes and tell you no okay take the Samsung because the Samsung is better quality than uh, than 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 Sony in certain features in certain benefits so that's exactly what he does he turns you from the higher price to the lower price product which is a Samsung and then from there you're interested to buy because that's your budget you either told them that in, from the beginning, uh, you, sorry, that the client told the, the, the Best Buy uh, uh, more, uh, a salesman his budget from the beginning and the, 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 the salesman did not listen or that's his budget and he decided to buy the LG instead of Sony. Or he just called his wife and he's like, okay, you know what? The wife said, yes, we're going to go with the, with the Sony instead because of that 20% off, is, it looks amazing. So that's exactly the sales process online. Is it any different from retail? No, it's not. Like I told you, Best Buy example and the landing page example. It's the same exact thing, but it's just here you're offering the offer to online clientele. The Best Buy, it's a retail environment. He offers it to the people that walks through that door. That's the lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you um, you benefit from this uh, episode of Mo's show. Uh, thank you very much for coming and uh, I'll see you next episode. Stay tuned. And by the way, check out the, the group right here, right here, the group. Join the group. That's where we discuss ideas. We discuss business ideas. We discuss, I give uh, business ideas. We discuss as a group, as a group. Uh, the group, the Facebook group, that's where we discuss all the ideas as in, uh, as a business people, as entrepreneurs, and uh, we'll see you there. Until next time, have yourself a great day, and peace.